This is a Robert Burns statue in Stanley Park. It is supposedly the first ever statue erected in the city of Vancouver. Robert Burns was very popular in the early days of the city of Vancouver when it was first formed. It is a statue of Robert Burns on a pedestal. The pedestal has plaques on the front. On the sides and back, there are picture plaques and excerpts of some of his works. Robert Burns Day is January 25th every year because he was born on January 25th, 1759. It is a celebration of his life and works. There are actually a number of Robert Burns Day suppers that are put on in Vancouver on January 25th each year. And these dinners usually involve the dreaded haggis. So now we'll take a look at the statue and we'll zoom in on each of the sides. The front um, has a plaque, Robert Burns, 1759 to 1796. The lower plaque, this statue of Robert Burns, Scotland's national, national bar, was unveiled by J. Ramsay MacDonald, a Prime Minister of Britain, on 25th of August, 1928. Robert Burns' sincere desire for friendship and brotherhood among all peoples is clearly shown in his many poems and songs. His poetry and letters, both serious and humorous, are worthy of study by those who value liberty and freedom. This memorial was rededicated on the 200th anniversary of the Bard's death by the Burns Club of Vancouver, 21st of July, 1996. Then let us pray that come it may, as come it will be a that, that man to man the world over shall brothers be for a that. Moving on to the left side is an excerpt from his work to a mountain daisy 1876 on turning one down with his plow we modest crimson tip flower though those met me in an evil hour to spare thee now is past my power though bonny gem Moving on to the back is The Cotter's Saturday Night, 18, no, rather, 1785. From scenes like these, Old Scotia's grandeur springs that makes her loved one, her loved at home, revered abroad. Princes and lords are but the breath of kings, an honest man's the noblest work of God. Moving on to the right side is a piece of work from Tom O'Shanter, 1790. Now do they speedy utmost Meg, and within the key stain of the brig, there at them gauss they tail may toss, a running stream they darn across. Now this statue is located just off of Stanley Park Drive near the Georgia Street entrance to Stanley Park. It is just to the left, af just after you go under the overpass, just meters into Stanley Park. And it's just before the Queen Victoria Monument, which is almost right on the, on the Stanley Park Drive road way. Um, you can also get to it by walking up the entrance ramp and when you see the the statue of Lord Stanley turn right and you should see this about um, 20 to 30 meters to the right.